All right, guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be covering a few comments that Hamza from Hamza's Den made. Um, this was concerning David Wood, an apostate prophet. And then I'll give some concluding thoughts in the end. Apostate prophet and David Wood, they are the enemy. Don't go to the enemy. So there is a, a problem um, that's happening online in apologetics and in the Dawah scene. It's where you label other content creators as the enemy. But once you've labeled anybody who criticizes you as the enemy, but you can't name anybody who you believe criticizes you fairly, we start running into problems. So I would like Hamza uh, just to respond to the video and give me a list of Christian critics that he believes are good people and are not the enemy. And if he can't, then he has to concede that he believes anybody who criticizes Islam is his enemy. One thing Muslims cannot tolerate, cannot handle, is when they see Muslims siding with some of the biggest enemies of Islam. You start do, hanging around with the likes of David Wood, an apostate prophet. Trust me, my sister, you're, it wouldn't matter what you know. Your, your name will get marked, and that will be that. Uh, you will label people enemies, suppressive people. Uh, you know, uh, don't, don't associate with this person. You know, you don't want to go against your own team. And the problem is, is that sometimes people on our own teams are wrong. And then you need to call them out and you need to address it. Now, I understand that people are shying away from doing that in a public setting and that they want you to do it more back channel. But if you are talking to somebody who you've labeled the enemy, uh, you should uh, at least concede when that person has made a valid point or when that person is right. Because what's at stake is more than just uh, your team or your position, but it's your integrity. And as a theist, we believe that we'll stand before God one day on integrity. And so if the enemy is right, then you should concede with those you're deeming as the enemy. But I don't even know why we're using terminology like enemy anyway. Uh, to me, it's a problematic feature of online, and it's a way to prevent honest and good conversation. You start do, hanging around with the likes of David Wood, an apostate prophet. Trust me, my sister, you're, it wouldn't matter what you know. Your, your name will get marked, and that will be that. And this is not from me. This I know what Muslims are like. They're so judgmental. So just an advice, my sister. If you don't agree with somebody, don't go to the enemy. And they are the enemy. That was the last clip from Hamza today. So I wanted to address this. I wanted to get some points. And I'm just going to give you a couple of concluding thoughts. So if you have this scary portrayal that those who are bringing you criticism of your faith are somehow your enemy, then you're never going to be open to honest criticism. And so if you're not open to honest criticism, are you really being critical um, and using critical thinking about what you believe? And then you have to ask yourself, does God want me to have critical thinking? And if your answer is no, then I don't believe that you're worshiping a rational God. But if your answer is yes, Allah wants you to have critical thinking. You know, yes, from the Christian perspective, Jesus wants us to have critical thinking. If these are things that we value, then we should be willing to hear honest criticism from the other side. And I get it that uh, YouTube is polemics. There's a lot of people who are out there to create gotcha videos. Set all that to the side for the moment and just say, I'm going to address the arguments. I'm going to address the substance and I'm going to stay out of the meta. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good evening. I go hard in the paint, yeah, homie, I'm a saint. I go hard.